and another thing is, as a human being, I also may make a mistake or two, and it's your right and your duty to actually correct and rectify, uh, but in a respectful way. You need to know, I, I have, I want to share with you something for your benefit, uh, for mine as well as a reminder. There are certain people who serve the field of Allah. Sometimes you don't know them. Sometimes you will never know them. They serve Allah dedicatedly. Some of them have sacrificed their lives solely for the service of Allah. They require nothing from you besides that they are actually giving you something. They've never taken something away from you. And sometimes we tend to become very hard with our tongues. And we utter words that are really wrong and incorrect against such people. Not talking about myself, but I'm talking generally about people who serve the deen. You need to be careful how you talk about them. You need to watch your mouth. Because sometimes the reason why we are cursed in this world is because we have uttered bad words against a person who's a friend of Allah. And we are suffering as a result. So be careful. Watch your tongue. Watch it. There is no need to utter bad words, even amongst ourselves. We rule upon the hearts of the people. This person did this because of that. How do you know? You know you might be suffering because of that. Not because they cursed you. But Allah, whose friend they are, did not like what you did to his friend. Man aada li waliyan faqad aadhantuhu bil harb. Hadith. The Prophet says, whoever has harmed a friend of mine, I announce war against that person. Allahu Akbar. Allah, you harm with words, you harm with statements. And I've seen certain people really go down within days of something they said or did. Within days. And go down so heavily that they don't know what hit them. And sometimes they do not understand and they will not understand what hit them. And they think, you know, it's this problem, it's that. No, it isn't. I always, someone comes to counseling to me and they tell me I have this issue and that issue. Brother, there are certain questions you need to ask yourself. Have you paid your zakat correctly? <laughs> what do you mean? You think I'm going to eat? I said, no. I don't want to know the answer. Ask yourself an answer at night when you're alone. Go and check. How did you calculate your zakat and how did you give it out? Was it, was it you know, given out actually? Was it distributed? Do you know? Okay. Number two. How is your link with your maker? Number three. Have you ever harmed a friend of the maker? Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do you speak bad about people? Do you have this negative? Every time you see someone, you think negative. If that's the case, maybe that's your problem. But it's got nothing to do with the issue that I've got here, for example. No. That may just be the problem. Perhaps Allah has declared war against you. You don't know. But Allah is ghafoorur rahim. He's most merciful. Allah is most merciful. Your sin was not something that was between you and Allah. It was between you and a third party. That third party is not ghafoorur rahim. Brothers and sisters, I plead with you to clean your heart. Clean it. It needs cleansing. And wallahi, it needs to remove from it Su'udhan. Su'udhan is one of the biggest diseases you could have. Su'udhan means a bad perception. You see someone, you think this guy is dressed like this because you know he's like that. And you see a woman in a miniskirt, you think she's like a prostitute. That thought is so dirty, so dirty. Even if she was, what's it got to do with you? It's a fact. When we start looking at people say, oh, this person is very bad because you know they dress like this. And what? Or you see someone, for example, walking into a nightclub. The, the first thought that should come to your mind, unless it's your own child or someone who is, whom you are responsible for, then you, you have the right to go and find out. The first thought is, you know, this uncle has gone into the club to remove someone from there. And that's a good thought. People say, nah, today people are bad. That thought is bad. You follow what I'm saying? Even if they were going into the nightclub to do whatever they were wanted to do in terms of sin, what's it got to do with you? By your statement, does it make them achieve Jannah? Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. I want to tell you, your statement will never help them achieve Jannah, but it even eradicates your chances of entering Jannah. That's the problem. So when you clean your heart, it only increases your chance of entering paradise. It might not change the situation on the ground, but your chances of entering paradise, paradise is not for those with dirty hearts, my brothers and sisters. Clean it. <coughs> Take it out. Love one another for the pleasure of Allah alone. And that's your paradise.
That's your paradise. We will speak about it this evening. Inshallah, it's part of the topic. The topic. So, we need, my brothers and sisters, all of us, myself included, to work on our hearts. It's not good enough to meet and to smile at each other and the heart is filthy. No, you know, this brother, he's a rotten person and he's a crook and he's a this and a that. Brother, did he steal your money? If he didn't, keep quiet. No, he stole the other man's money. The other man's money, you now spreading tales, you don't even know both sides of the story. You don't even know what went right or wrong and you are being a judge just because of what one person told you. Do not hate someone based on what someone has told you. It's got nothing to do with you most of the time. Yes, if you want to be careful of someone, someone said, look, you want to deal with this man? Just tread the path a bit carefully. So you tread a bit carefully. That's not a bad statement. That is just a warning to say, watch out. People today, generally, you need to be a bit more careful because there is a, a general tendency of people not fulfilling what they have said. Like I've said in the past, nowadays they'll write. They get the lawyers to sign the documents also and still they won't fulfill the agreement. So you warning someone is another issue. But to have a dirty heart and to have a bad perception of people, that will keep you away from paradise. And paradise is something I should be working for and so should you. Wallahi, do not lose focus. Your fajr, your dhuhr, your asr, when you are in a mall, when you are here or there, to go into the little musalla, here they call it a surah, to go into the place, make wudu and, you know, put on your clothing and whatever you have to properly, you know, and to read that salah of yours, this is what will earn your paradise. Wallahi. The day you are old, you can smile and say, Ya Allah, I tried my best to please you. Rest is in your hands. Forgive me, grant me paradise. But if we haven't even tried to earn paradise, you know, we didn't try to eradicate that which was bad, that which was dirty, that which was unacceptable. And then we say, I, I don't worry, I'll get paradise. God is forgiving. God is forgiving. Allah says, Subhanallah turn before it's too late. May Allah grant us the turning point.